Hi LEGO fans! I don't usually review LEGO polybags for a few different reasons. Firstly, a 40 piece set doesn't make for a very long and interesting video. Secondly, these things are very, very shiny and difficult to film. And the plastic is really crinkly, which makes it really annoying to listen to if you're wearing headphones. Sorry about that. I usually just end up buying these and throwing them in the box of interesting items. But today is going to be different because today I'm going to be unbagging, speed building, and reviewing set number 30340 Emmett's Peace Offering, 30460 Rex's Plantable Ambush, 30260 Starstuck Emmet, 30527 Lucy vs Alien Invader, 30528 Mini Master Building Metal Beard, and 30529 Mini Master Building Emmet. This is every LEGO Movie 2 polybag that I know about at the time of filming. Which almost certainly means that LEGO will release more as soon as I hit publish on this video just to prove me wrong. Tracking down a full set of polybags isn't an easy task. Some of these are promotional sets, and some of these were only available in specific stores. For example, I picked up Emmett's Peace Offering at Target, and because they were selling these off I actually bought 10 of them. I figured at $2 a piece I couldn't go wrong. Emmett's Peace Offering is a 44-piece set featuring an Emmett minifigure and the Peace Offering. It's a brick-built heart which is quite central to the plot. Rex's Plantimal Ambush features a Rex minifigure, a novelty oversized gun, and it's rather cool looking alien creature. This was a free gift with purchase at the LEGO store in February 2019. Mini Master Building Metal Bid was available at Walmart in the USA. We've got Metal Bid himself and then three rather strange looking builds. Lucy vs Alien Invader came from one of my favourite places for buying polybags, the LEGO Land Discovery Centre. I've never been inside but I do visit the gift shop regularly. Lucy vs Alien Invader comes with this Apocalypseburg Lucy minifigure and one of the Duplons. Starstuck Emmett is probably the most exclusive of the bunch. I got this free when pre-ordering the LEGO Movie 2 game. Yes, I bought the game to get a polybag. Starstuck Emmett features a micro build showing the doors to Apocalypseburg, and trapped inside those doors is this rather sad looking star. We also get an equally sad looking Emmett, but it looks like things work out in the end. And finally I had to buy Mini Master Building Emmett on eBay. This was the only one I was missing and I really wanted it for this video. Mini Master Building Emmett is a 49 piece set featuring 3 builds. I've seen quite enough shiny plastic for one day so let's open up these bags and see what we've got inside. So after a lot of time, effort and money collecting these poly bags, we're left with 6 tiny bags of LEGO, each with an instruction leaflet. I'm going to go ahead and put together all 6 poly bags, and today this is going to be a 1 minute and 33 second speed build! So here are all 6 polybags fully assembled. 
combined build time for all six sets was about 32 minutes, and collectively if my math is right these contain 234 pieces. Buying poly bags is definitely not an economical way of buying Lego. Each one of these with the exception of Mini Master Building Metal Beard come with a minifigure. For the purposes of minifigure classification I'm not going to count Metal Beard. We do have three Emmets, which is about three Emmets too many, but at least each one of the Emmets has a different facial expression. From first impressions I think my favourite two sets are going to be Starstuck Emmet and Rex's Plantimal Ambush. But I really am getting ahead of myself. We're going to look at each one of these sets in turn and do it in LEGO set number order. That means we're starting out with Polybag 30340 Emmett's Peace Offering. This is not a peace offering in the sense of P-E-A-C-E, -E. it's a peace offering spelt P-I-E-C-E, -E, as in it's made of Lego pieces, or Lego elements I guess. I don't want to give away too many spoilers about the Lego Movie 2 in case you haven't seen it yet, but this does represent a reconciliatory gift between the two warring parties in the movie. You can see a much smaller version of this clutched by the Brickheads version of Sweet Mayhem. Now I come to think of it, this is the wrong way round. I guess symbolically this shows the pastel shades you might see in LEGO Friends, joining together with traditional primary colours we often see in LEGO sets. If you want to figure out the rest of it, go see the movie! The Emmett minifigure is pretty unremarkable and also appears in two other sets. Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop and Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket. You'll find reviews of both of those sets on my channel. Apart from the facial expression, this is the same Emmett you get in pretty much all of the LEGO Movie 2 sets. He's wearing this orange construction worker outfit, and then we've got the metallic stripes there which you can see shining in the lights. These are the, uh, I guess, high visibility stripes, and you can see these are a little bit distressed and damaged, just like all the other minifigures. It's the same around the back, we've got the metallic stripes with the damage to them, you've got the blue arms and then the yellow hands. We do of course have the Emmett name badge there, and a little distressing to the belt. Out. We've got the standard Emmett face here on the front there with that little cheeky smile and then around the back he's looking rather more aggressive. Uh, but that is our Emmett minifigure, he's pretty much the same you'll see everywhere else, the only thing we get is slight variations in expression. Overall it's a cute little set but really not that exciting. I do like the symbology of the heart and the meaning that brings to the movie, but apart from that it's a few Lego bricks built into a heart and an Emmett minifigure. Let's see if we can find something more exciting. Of course we can because next up we've got set number 30460, Rex's Plantimal Ambush. This actually has the lowest part count from all of the poly bags with only 32 pieces, but this has to be one of my favourites, it's so cool! This was a free gift with purchase at the LEGO store in February 2019, so it makes it a little bit more exclusive. Speaking of exclusive, this is an exclusive Rex Danger Vest. We'll come back to Rex in just a moment. First let's take a look at the Plantimal which really reminds me of a Mixel. This contains some fantastic LEGO elements. Starting at the bottom we've got a relatively new element which looks like the head of a tulip. This is perfect for a plant based creature. It's in this earth blue colour and it was only ever used on this Plantimal character which is in two sets. Then we have some of these leaves, these are very nice elements and again these are new for 2019 in this bright orange colour. Above that we have a circle which is again in this earth blue colour, that is new, and then we've got this really nice transparent purple element with glitter which looks really really cool, it's a nice little dish piece there. Above that we have a crab element which is in a medium lavender colour, that's the one I'm looking for. This again only appears in this plantimal creature so far. And then we have this headdress here which contains another one of those leaves, and then this leaf element in the awesome bright red reddish violet. So apart from being a really cool character this guy actually contains some really rare and exclusive pieces. Incidentally he does appear in another set. He can also be found in Rex's Rex Dream Off-Roader. I do have that set, I've just not done the review yet. From around the back we get a closer look at those glittery purple elements. I really like the face and the headdress on this little guy. He looks awesome with those googly eyes, and it's great to get those bright orange leaves which are an exclusive to the LEGO Movie 2 sets. The set depicts a scene where Rex is threatening the Plantimal with a very very large gun indeed. In fact it's so large I had to put Rex on a base plate to stop him falling over. The gun is based around a smaller handheld gun which is down here in the base, this has a couple of cylinder elements, a nice little bit of light green detailing, and then these two very large I guess, cylinders or chambers, these kind of just snap on the front there, and it makes a very impressive looking weapon indeed. 
As I mentioned earlier, this version of Rex seems to be unique to this set. He's wearing his Rex outfit there with the Rex Danger Vest vest on, nice little R there on the front of the uniform, and he's also got these high visibility stripes which look a little bit like Emmett's for some reason. He's also got the R on the back, he's got some printing on the front here, he's got the kind of Apocalypse Berg type printing with the steel toe caps, the knee protectors, and then really nice printing there on the torso. He also has a very uh, confident looking face, shall we say, with the stubble, and then this kind of ruffled haircut with the same cowlick that Emmett has. If we turn him over, we've also got a rather more I guess that's disconcerted and rather unimpressed face. He is a nice minifigure to get and really cool to get this kind of unique print there, especially with the arm printing. He's just a really nice all-round Rex minifig. Next we have Polybag 30527 Lucy vs Alien Invader. This includes a rather fun looking Duplon and a Warrior Lucy minifigure. Warrior Lucy is not exclusive to this set. She also appears in the Ultra Catty and Warrior Lucy set and Emmett's Dreamhouse slash Rescue Rocket. Warrior Lucy is a pretty fearsome looking character. She comes equipped with this crossbow and then around the back we've got a quiver with some bolts for the crossbow. Let's just take that out of the way so we can have a look. Uh, on the front there we have these dual molded legs in brown and black and then on the front we've got some metallic printing there for the buckles and then some protective wear. It's also a little bit of mud splashed up on the foot there. She's really in her apocalypse bird gear. The torso is nicely printed. Uh, we've got the kind of Trademark wild style colours there, also printing on the arms. Let's see, yep, yeah, we do have some printing on the cuff there, and then a really determined facial expression. And I love this hair, this is so cool, it integrates the goggles here as well. You can see we've got these kind of infrared goggles, and then the colouring in Lucy's hair. Really determined expression there with the scarf around the neck, and then if we turn her around, she's got a little bit more of a smiley face on the back. Another detail which I didn't point out when I've reviewed this figure in the past is the hands. You can see that the left hand is yellow and then the right hand is black. Now this might signify that Lucy's lost a hand at some point, it might be a glove, or I suspect some child's just pulled the hands off which invariably means you're going to lose them. So it's been replaced with a black one. Of course there is a reason for Lucy and the other residents of Apocalypseburg being armed. They're trying to protect themselves from the evil destructive influence of the Duplons. The Duplons of course represent the younger sibling of the family who has destroyed Bricksburg. And very clearly this is based on Duplo Bricks. The Duplon has a hinged mouth which gives it a very nice snappy action. You can also see within the mouth we've got a couple of studs here which make them look like the Duplo studs. While this might look like a solid lump of plastic it is indeed made from separate Lego elements. The designers did a really nice job of covering up all the visible studs to give this a very smooth and cohesive appearance. I also like the large printed eye which gives the Duplon a very menacing appearance. You will of course find Duplons in other sets and I really do prefer these to the micromanagers that we got in the Lego Movie 1 sets. These just look like so much fun. Although to be fair I'm pretty sure Lucy's experience may differ. Next up we have set number 30528, Mini Master Building Metal Beard. Now clearly Metal Beard isn't a minifigure in the true sense of the word. But in terms of Metal Beard characters that come with the LEGO Movie 2, this is an exclusive. On the outside of the bag it does show another two builds that you can make with Metal Beard. At the risk of accusing LEGO of being cheap, the instructions for the other two builds are actually online. These are not included in the instruction booklet. Metal Beard is a very cool looking character and I love the hat that he's wearing. This features a metallic print of a Lego minifigure skull and crossbones and looks really cool. We also have a plume on top. But yeah, I'd be really impressed with that facial print and the Metal Beard element. There is no alternate expression on the back of the head but you can see Metal Beard's eye patch, you can see his kind of stubbly beard there, and then his gnarly mouth and his angry face, especially with that little eye peeping out there, he looks so mean. Metal Beard gets around by using a single wheel and these four clawed legs. He looks like some kind of crazy spider combination. There are two mechanical arms, this one holding his cutlass, and another holding a gold metallic telescope. I'm not sure if the vehicle is meant to be his body or if his body is meant to be the vehicle, but this has a really cool steampunk dystopian vibe. There's a two cylinder engine block at the back so presumably this thing is motorised and sticking out almost like a tail is this decoration complete with wheel rims and gold metallic flag. 
It's an unusual and very inventive build, which is what you would expect from the Master Builder Metal Beard. I'm not sure it's my favourite of all the polybag builds, but it's up there with the best. Next we have set number 30529, the Mini Master Building Emmet. This features the irrepressible Emmet Brukowski and what appears to be a mechanical excavator. Again, the outside of the packaging features a couple of alternate builds. There's a little car or what appears to be a small version of Emmet's Constructo Mech from the first movie. Just like the Metal Beard set, if you want to build those, you do have to go online. For the most part, Emmet is exactly the same minifigure you get in many of the other LEGO Movie 2 sets. The only difference is that facial expression which we'll come back to in just a moment. This version of Emmet also appears in Welcome to Apocalypseburg, the LEGO Movie 2 accessory set which I've not reviewed yet, I'm really looking forward to seeing the sewer babies, he also comes in the Emmet pod which I'm probably not going to buy, and Emmet's Thrysicle which I have reviewed and you'll see a link to that on screen now. The excavator is a pretty simple build featuring about 45 LEGO elements. At the base we've got these small wheels and these come on a spinner so the whole thing can rotate. The front of the build looks pretty cool with these clear transparent headlights and grille. We have one of these two cylinder engine blocks which creates two exhaust pipes. And there's somewhere for Emmett to sit and control the excavator. This also comes with some really nice printed black and yellow tiles. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is meant to be, maybe it's an exhaust pipe. And around the back we've got a simple 1x2 transparent tile for the tail lights. Now that I look more closely I'm not sure this really is an excavator. This actually looks like some kind of mechanical jackhammer. It's got one of these claw elements on the end here and I'm not exactly sure why you would use that in construction. As I mentioned before, Emmett does have a different facial expression to the other Emmets you'll see in this video, although the body and legs and generally the rest of the minifigure is still the same. He does have this kind of uh, smiley expression on the front there showing his teeth and then around the back he looks very much more nervous. And finally we come to the most exclusive of the LEGO Movie 2 polybag so far. This is set number 30620, Star Stuck Emmet. Notice the play on words there, it is Star Stuck Emmet and not Star Struck Emmet. And I guess the reason for that is pretty obvious. This time Emmet is an exclusive and as you can see he's got his very sad and concerned face on the front there. And then if we take off the hair and turn him around, he's much more joyous and excited. It's a similar thing with the star, as you can see here we've got this beautiful 2x2 two two printed piece with a very sad looking star and then this actually pops off from this fantastic star element, these have to be new, and then we can pop on the happy star face. This little vignette recreates the blast doors that everybody hides behind when Sweet Mayhem joins the movie. You can recreate the scene where the star gets trapped in the doors and Emmett feels immensely sorry for the star. This leads up to Emmett opening the blast doors and letting the star and sweet mayhem inside. One of the doors is mounted in a track and then we've got this gearing mechanism to make the door go forwards and backwards. These don't quite fit together, but then we have some panelling around the front which completes the illusion. There are also these reddish brown pieces which provide a convenient mounting point for the star. The doors have a very smooth mechanism thanks to this piece here with the channel cut out. This allows the front part of the rail to glide smoothly along. Out of all of the LEGO Movie 2 polybags so far, this is definitely my favourite. It's by no means a big set with only 41 pieces, but it's very well thought out and it recreates a core scene from the movie. I also really like those smiles, this makes me very happy. One nice feature of polybags is that it's a good way to get a collection of minifigures without spending tens or hundreds of dollars. Of course LEGO doesn't make this easy and you'll often see exclusive minifigures in the very expensive sets. Some of these polybags cost as little as $4 which makes them a nice pocket money treat. Others come free as a gift with purchase and I have seen certain promotional events at stores where they give these things away for nothing. If you simply have to have every variation of Emmett's slightly gormless smile, you'll inevitably have to hunt down at least one of these polybags because Starstuck Emmett is an exclusive, unless of course LEGO decides to release that expression in an upcoming set. There are more LEGO Movie 2 sets on the way so that could very much be a thing. Buying polybags is also the only way you're going to get this specific type of metal beard. Although to be fair Metal Beard's expression is not exclusive to this set. You'll find the same minifigure head in four different sets and because the elements in this set are not unique, with some effort you could track down the individual parts and build this version of Metal Beard yourself. So that was my review of every LEGO Movie 2 polybag. 
or at least every LEGO Movie 2 polybag that I know about, excluding the pods. I'm sure if I've missed anything, you'll let me know in the comment section below. As I don't usually review polybags, it was really nice to have six of these to bring together into one video. My favourite is Starstuck Emmett, but I'm really curious to know which your favourite was. As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. I really hope you enjoyed this LEGO Movie 2 polybag unbagging, speed building and review video. As you might have noticed earlier in the video, I've got way too many of the Emmett's Peace Offering polybags. So if you enjoyed the video, leave me a comment, I'll pick the one I like best, pin you to the top of the list, and I'll send you your very own Emmett's Peace Offering polybag. Yes folks, I think I just announced a giveaway. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next build video.